So we start off with this high school girl, and she just recently got dumped by her boyfriend. Babe, I just hit a honey pack. Come on, let's go back to my place already. Get freaky. So after that, she decides to freak around house kick this nigga in the neck, bro. Oh my goodness. But nah, obviously they broke up. It's over between. So she's moping in the hallways, but then she sees a kid getting bullied. So you know she got to do something about it. What are you gonna do? But because of that, freaking the bullies leave him alone. She comes and saves the day. But the nerd kind of feel like maybe he got a chance for her. I can tell my five plus aura attracted your attention. Would you like to partake in an intellectual discussion of the most recent extraterrestrial phenomenon? Yeah, I'm starting to feel bad, bro. Yo, this is why cute girls don't talk to nerds, bro. I just got dumped. I don't want you pushing all your nerd shit on me. This is why you got no friends and definitely no bitches. Damn. Shit, my fault. Yo, look at him. Look how sad he is. But nah, she feels bad. So she's trying to, like, you know, relate to him. Be like, oh, I don't believe in aliens, but I kind of believe in ghosts. And bro started laughing at her, bro. They, they have a little couple, little coral in the hallway, bro. Get her room. No one trying to see that nasty ass shit. So they both decide to make a bet, right? She wants him to go see some ghosts, and he wants her to see some aliens, right? And by the way, guys, I am not a simp. I don't care if she's freaking adorable. There is no way in hell I'm going into a place like this because of a bats so now she's in a hospital looking for some aliens and this dude is in a creepy ass tunnel looking for some ghosts and even though bro is terrified it's actually not going that bad until is that blood the fuck you got a tight little man pussy on you don't you oh, it stinks nice and good so bro start running for his life, bro. I mean, I would too, if a, if a ghost was trying to sexually assault me. So bro is trying to outrun her, but she just turns to, to Sonic out of nowhere, bro. Oh my goodness. But then to make matters even worse, Momo gets a visit from aliens, bro. Oh my goodness. And they are creepy, bro. I don't know what situation is worse. She's getting kidnapped by aliens and bro's getting assaulted by ghosts. But this one things start to get really weird. So apparently he got cursed by Turbo Granny, which was the ghost that was chasing after him. So I'm thinking like, yo, he could finally use the power to probably save baby girl. Yeah, he finna roid out and turn Super Saiyan. And that's what I thought, but the aliens decide to copy Frieza and go into their final form and then one shot him. Don't you dare fucking touch her my entire life no one cared about me and she's the only one that stood up for me i don't care if this curse tears me apart i'll turn into a monster for her i'll murder for her And after that disappointing display, freaking Momo decides, you know, I got this. So she starts reminiscing about her old times with her grandmother, who was a medium. And she realizes, yo, I think I got some hidden talents in my body. And then she just breaks out and becomes immortal, I guess. And this is like the one critique I have about this anime, how weirdly and how quickly she just became all powerful. So now guys, she's beating the shit out of these aliens, bro. Like, oh my goodness. And because of her, they finally was able to escape the spaceship and get out of there. And even though they defeat the aliens, they're still a problem, bro is still cursed. And the only way for him not to go back into monster mode is for her to focus her energy on him so he doesn't transform. So some time passes and they're at Momo's place, but they feel a very dark presence at the door. And she starts freaking out because she realizes, I forgot to put the barrier to protect the house I, I left it so evil spares can come and go as they please so they're trying to find a way to get out of there but it's too late they get trapped and I know about y'all but between the aliens the crazy granny I'd rather pick either one of those than this thing right here I'm over here stroking my dick I got lotion on my dick right now I'm just stroking my shit I'm horny as fuck man I'm a freak so they run away from this beefy big boy, bro. Oh my goodness, I'll be terrified, bro. Dude's huge. But it turns out he's not even a ghost. He's an alien. Now, as they're trying to not die, right, his curse keep acting up, so he has to keep on trying to help him. Now he's getting tired of this shit, bro. I'm getting tired of holding back. I'm getting tired of slowing her down. So bro is like, you know what? 
let the curse take me. And bro starts to level up. Oh no. Yeah. Shit, 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 fuck, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so fucking cool, bro. But where is the bad bitch's ass? Yo, shoddy, what's the move after this? Who the fuck are you? I guess I'll kill this big fat tub of lard real quick. Shoddy, later on, let's go back to my place. Excuse me, sir. I was talking to my girl. Now, if you want to intrude on that, I'll just have to kill you. Yo, when did this nigga gain the boss? Yo, bro went from a shy outcast nerd to the realest nigga alive. But sadly, just like Auto Instinct Goku, he has major withdrawals since his body can't handle it. I'm horny as fuck. Don't worry, I got you. So things are looking terrible right now. Bro's out of commission. Momo's getting her ass beat by the dude, bro. It's get, it's going really bad, bro. I don't know what we're gonna do. But surprisingly, after that slaughter, Momo is still alive. And she had a whole plan to make the punches of a monster cave the wall so she can get out and use the talisman to kill the alien. What a genius. Yeah, what's up with y'all? It's been a minute. How how you like the talking tragic? Rabbit did talk a tragic in a mean minute, but let me know. Uh Don to Don is a very good anime. I watched all of it, so I wanna do a tracking a talking tragic on it. Uh look who's uh look who's here. Hang on. Come here. Come here. Maggie. My baby girl. Ain't she adorable? But um so this is what I wanna do, right? I want to do another t talking tragic of this anime, but like the new episodes, this is, I only cover episode one and two. I want to do three. I think there's five episodes right now and that there's going to be a sixth one coming out this Thursday. Um, if y'all want me to do a part two of talking tragic with Don to Don, where I cover the newest episode in all the episodes before, I want at least like 50 likes by within like two days. Um, or 75, 75, I think 75 is reasonable. If y'all want um, me to do a part two of Don to Don where it covers all the episodes, Maggie, stop, stand still. But uh, let me know, let, let me know how y'all feel. I love y'all, I catch y'all later. Peace, say goodbye Maggie.